friends this is praval sharma from sharma ji technical your host for this english review of the lenovo k3 note we have ordered this phone over on flipkart on 18th or 8th of july at 3 pm and we got the delivery on july 9th at 9 am and we have already done the real unboxing video in our hindi version but i am doing the english version as well to get some uh, subscriber from english version as well because i am the first one who is doing the real retail version of uh, un retail version unboxing for this lenovo k3 note so i am doing this video in english as well so to get your uh, appreciation as well okay so on the box what we have i will quickly show you what is we have on the box we have the manufacturer information import information and the customer contact details where you can uh, contact after sale service and there are some information mentioned on this uh, who made this phone what is the model number and the unit so the color is black and what is the box inside the box is inside the box we have a phone trans receiver it means phone one piece of battery one piece of travel adapter one piece of data data cable and one quick charger guide and lenovo warranty statement and one film film means a screen guard okay so what is this is the battery information voltage is 3.8 volt charger limit is 4.35 volt and capacity is 2900 milliampere hour at per 11.02 weight per hour watt per hour mrp is mentioned as 9999 so it is about approximately 10000 rupees and the gross weight of this box with this is 353 grams and the manufacturing year is june 2015 coming to the sar value sar value is mentioned at 1.590 weight per kilogram at head that is ridiculously high the limit is around 1.6 and they have mentioned is 1.59 so the sar values are not at all very good here Uh, according to the body it is okay 0.68 is really fair enough but for this 1.59 it is not an acceptable and then come to this uh, key highlights of this phone 4g lte 2 true 8 core dolby atmos and android os what are the other features are os is mentioned as android technology with lenovo vibe ui processor is mediatek 1.7 gigahertz processor with 4g technology display is 13.9 cm full hd it means it is support 1080p IPS display and it is 5.5 in inches. Memory is 2 GB RAM, 16 GB internal storage. Expandable it is up to 32 GB. It could be more, but they have limited to 32 GB. Rear camera is 13 megapixel with auto focus and with dual LED flash. It is not mentioned, but it is dual LED flash. Front camera is 5 megapixel and it is fixed focus, so you need to tap to focus. SIM card is dual SIM and both SIM support 4G. Battery is 2900 mAh again. Okay, so nothing on on this box pack, and also we have got a uh, free SIM from uh, Airtel with the because Airtel is giving promotional SIM 4G SIM cards to Flipkart, and they are providing this free. So this is what we receive, and we will also doing a video how to swap your SIM to, from old SIM to a new 4G SIM. So this is the box content. This is the main phone, and this is the screen guard which we receive from this, and we have not used it. We will use it. and here are some uh, warranty uh, warranty statement uh, warranty information cards and quick start guide this is the quick start guide and this is warranty information and this is something else there is nothing mentioned what is it but this is something so do you get this was a, a battery wrapper a battery already i installed on the phone i will show you how it, it look like and this is a data sync cable i have not opened this as well but it is in white color it should be in black i don't know how they are uh, doing this kind of stuff and this is a power adapter and it is 5 uh, volt uh 1.5 ampere you can see this is 5 volt 1.5 ampere i don't know how they have kept it less but you can charge if you have any other uh, phones device with any other phones 2 ampere charger you can use that charger okay so let's keep this uh, things aside and come to this uh, phone so this is the 5.5 inch full hd screen it, it do not have any gorilla glass information mentioned here so it is better you use the screen guard given by the uh, by the manufacturer or you can do some kind of lamination it is if it is available in your location talking about this build quality build quality is pretty good you can see the curves are as like the edges are curved like this so it will not harm your hand or fingers like this you can see it is in round shape also the this kind this here also it is round shape you can see it is rounded and sharp and this side so 80% of the phone is covered by the back cover talking about here what are what we get here i'll just clean it quickly and show you so here is the light sensor this is the in call speaker this is the front mega 5 megapixel front camera and this is the led notification light yes this version of lenovo phone have the led notification light and below are the three touch capacity buttons they do not light up so 
they are how they the do it they are on the left side there is nothing on the right side there is a power button and volume rockers upside there is a 3.5 mm jack and micro otg slot sorry micro usb slot to charging and for data sync and for otg cable as well and the below there is a primary microphone and behind there is a secondary microphone for noise cancellation here it is secondary mic and this is the speaker this is the 13 megapixel rear camera and this is a dual led flash and here is a lenovo logo and nothing mentioned on the bottom side but the design you can see it is matty matty finish design so it is very good in and looks like premium phone okay so let's open the back cover and show you how the battery and the other things are so the, it has a user replaceable battery we already inserted this battery this battery capacity is 2900 milliampere hour and we, this also support 32 gb of uh, memory card so we have inserted one and we have inserted one uh, airtel 3g sim uh, currently i don't have 4g sim so i have done 3g and both the sims are supported by 4g 2g and 3g so that is the good thing okay so let's talk about this uh, user interface so this is how the user interface looks like similar to the all other lenovo phones in this series uh, the vibe ui they are using like it so this is how the performance is very good at the moment you can see you can tap to here multitasking and you will see around currently it is showing 990 mb but around 1 gb was free when we have booted this first time so this is how it is available so moving on to the first to the setting and i will show you how it is and there was one update we have received when we are doing the real unboxing of hindi version we have one 17 mb of update and we already deployed it the update in it and now it is saying the system is latest update and after that update nothing has changed the version was still 5.0 you can see a model number was mentioned k5840 and version is 5.0 this is a base uh, base band version build version processor processor is mtk6952 eight cores it is a octa core processor in other words and 1.7 gigahertz is the clock speed and ram is 2 gb and rom is 16 gb and just move to the storage uh, storage we are receiving around around 9 to 10 gb when we have done if you want to check the real exact figure you just check out my hindi review you will find what is the exact storage available here because after that i have installed some games and application in it and i have also installed an sd card so if you are thinking about you can move applications to sd card then i will let you know that now these days android have made some policies so android uh, applications in nano cannot be moved to sd card but you have to insert the memory card before installing any app and then just reboot your system let's say if you inserted sd card you need to reboot it and then whatever applications you install not whatever 90 to 80% applications will be installed to sd card directly okay so if you want to try you can just try it. you can put the sd card and you can install installing asphalt date and you can see the additional file will be installed in the sd card android obb folder like this and talking about the applications this phone do not have any chinese application all the applications are uh, google india applications so i have disabled some of the application which i don't like and i don't want to use it to in a, to free up some space there were some other applications like default asphalt date wechat and some true call or something so i have already uh, uninstalled them to get more space but if you want you can just check my hindi version and you see how many uh, applications was there talking about the connectivity options as i told it has a memory card so that was also one connectivity option it has a wifi mobile networks currently i paid to made it to uh, airplane mode because i was getting some calls so i made it to airplane mode so, but it supports 3g 4g 2g bluetooth and hotspot is also supported in it and also wireless display is supported if you have a tv your tv connected to some some extent you can also use it as a wireless display to other tv A ringtone display lock screen these are some kind of notification and they have some features uh, smart off gestures if the phone is unlock and and you uh, draw a b then camera will be open so let's check this out i just draw a b it give a haptic feed haptic feedback and it will start to run run the camera so like this there are some feature it is not a double to double tap to wake up feature is not available in this so you have to manually do it and start the phone location service is also available i will also show you how gps lock is instantly storage i have already shown application i have already shown about i i already shown there are some other application permission controls you can manage it according to your need so let me quickly show you how the gps lock is i just started it and this is the uh, sorry i have disabled the gps i will yeah i will on it and then you will see how quickly it is 
it is instant within two second we got the gps lock and it is as much as five feet active, uh, accurate i will say five to ten feet is the accuracy let's talk about the, some camera samples so camera camera interface so this is the interface of the camera you can see uh, the first option is to rotate the camera to a selfie camera like this you can click and you can rotate to the selfie camera and then you can come back and this is the option for uh, flash since i enabled the hdr so it is not uh, highlighted now it is it is visible yeah like this so when you use the hdr flash is not usable and these are this is the some uh, modes how you want to capture touch to capture timer to capture like this if you want to touch then it will be captured like this hold and then it will be captured and there are some settings you can also you check some settings what is the settings are that aspect ratio uh, let me move out from this hdr mode then it will be more options will be visible yeah sorry yeah so these are the options you can see you can select the aspect ratio you can select the white balance you can select the screen mode which mode you required like this uh, auto mode night mode portrait mode landscape mode like this you can and iso is also available if you want to set the iso manually you can set it from the setting menu up to 1600 not more than that guide grid lines if you want have grid line you can have grid lines and in this uh, the main ca the rear camera of this uh, phone can shoot 1080p full hd videos as well and you can see the con uh, continuous mode or infinite mode of autofocus continuous means is autofocus you can see it is autofocus so it will be automatically focusing there are some other settings as well you can see if you want to use the volume rockers as zoom button sound button or capture button whatever it is according to your requirement you can use it so these are the some options and we have also taken some of the sample images i will show you quickly how they they look like the first picture which we have took is in hdr mo uh, hdr mode and the second picture we took as a flash so it is like this and there is some sample video as well and these are some pictures which we have took in outdoor light in our outside house so you can see all these pictures are taken in hdr mode so the color reproduction is very good i will add these samples uh, in this uh, video so that you can check it out so just check out your this sample videos and then we will continue the review further so this is the pictures which we have taken from the lenovo k3 note the first picture which we took in the hdr mode so you can see how the hdr quality is and this picture we have took in the flashlight front uh, rear camera flashlight so you can see the quality and all these pictures outside light we have taken in the hdr mode and you can see how the color reproduction is the pictures look like natural it is not the over saturation because sometimes we see uh, many of the cameras does the over saturation in the hdr mode but here you can see the color reproduction is natural i can say it is very natural because what i can see from the real eyes and in the camera's eye both are equivalently same you can see how this is the pole in front of a house you can see the natural colors behind the house there is yellow color pink color you can see every details in this and picture quality is very you can see in this road you can see the road color black color white lines and the colors on the trees and everything and this picture we have took in the selfie mode selfie camera mode you can see the picture quality from 5 megapixel camera is also good so uh, this is another picture which we have took details are clear and uh, sharp enough so this is how the camera uh, pictures are there so I hope you have uh, liked the pictures which we have done a sample videos okay and now we will uh, check the Antutu benchmarking score we have done a benchmarking already and in that we got around uh, 42,205 uh, around score I will show you how it will look like yeah it is it is a non verified score but we will do it once more one more in this video and we will show you how it will so first we will enable this 60 uh, 64 bit mode of this uh, and then we will continue Uh, so we will uh, now test this again and we will show you how it will perform so i have just clicked on the test again so once it is finished i will show you what are the results in between i will show you some of the uh, test test performance so let's for that it is now 39 percent and 34 percent 44 percent now and it is still testing so this is how the progress you can see it is 76 percent and it has done some kind of uh, gaming and graphic test already so, and you can see it is in the last stage yeah there is some more uh, test going on you can see like this gaming performance and some kind of uh, test it is going on so once it is complete we will continue okay so now our enter the benchmarking score test and it is showing that fourth highest in this in their rating 
it is showing 44955 so it is uh, verified again and this is on the fourth uh, fourth uh, rank first is mx4 then galaxy note 4 asus zenfone 2 and it is more than one plus one so that is something amazing for me okay so yeah again it is said non verified i don't know why it is saying non verified but these are the, some the same data uh, some some same data specification you can see a 5.064 bit processor mtk mali mali is a gpo t70 10 1080p full hd screen 13 megapixel camera the ram is available is 1866 mb and available total is 1866 and available is like this and out of this uh, 16 gb we are having now 11.19 gb available for us and the same and then you have some uh, cores availability and like this so this is the uh, some information and we can see that battery uh, this temperature is still 36 after the entry benchmarking score it has not increased too much of then and we will quickly check this if the phone is supporting o supporting otg or not so we have our uh, otg cum card cum pen drive so we will put it inside and it will start lighting up you can see it is lighting that means that otg is supported and this automatically it is it has automatically opened this uh, file manager so you can see this is external storage one this is as our this is our otg um, otg data content you can see we have uh, we have one video file. we have one video file in it and you can i will show you how you can yeah like this so this was our uh, this was our uh, real unboxing i will show you how we have done it so if you just want to you just go check it check out our uh, hindi video you will get the uh, link in the youtube description as well so this is how it was looking at the first time when we have opened this phone if you want to check exactly same what feels you when you open and you can check like this okay so otg is supported main concern is that otg is supported now i will quickly show you how the volume volume of the phone is like this uh, so i will quickly go to this uh, ringtones and i will show you how it is like this this is the full volume you can see I would say the Dolby uh, Dolby uh, Dolby effects is also coming. So it, they say Dolby Atmos. So then yes, they'll really something Dolby is doing in this uh, sound affecting sound quality. Sound uh, output is not too much of loud, but adequately loud to listen the music. So this is how it is. I'll I'll quickly show you one song if it can play. Yeah, it will be able to play. Let me just remove this uh, OTG cable. Yeah, so I will uh, show. I will play one song quickly. Uh, where is that? Okay. A uh, lot of albums are there. Uh, just check this one. Hamari. Yeah, this one. So the sound quality is also good. I will quickly show you some of the video songs as well. Just hold for a second. Yeah. So this is how the video quality is. I will be quickly moving and skipping the video frames because of the YouTube uh, copyright issues. So I will not be able to play more than two to three seconds of one portion of a song. So you can quickly have a look at it.
so this is how the video performance is it and let's play a quick game uh, so to show you the how the graphics quality is in the game and the gaming performance let me quickly start it and show you the screen of this phone is kind of a finger fingerprint magnet so it will be good if you use the screen guard so performance will be more better since it is not a gorilla glass so you may find some kind of uh, issues in that so i'll recommend you use this uh, gorilla uh, sorry the screen guard provided with it i will also fit it and i will try to use it how it will perform in my detail review so till then you can just see how it is look working like oh i'm just playing the game quickly just to show you the graphics and the frame frame performance If you want to skip this portion you can skip and you can continue to the further data review i will just take the 30 more seconds here and just to show you how uh, this uh, gaming performance is look like and this is a paid game if you are just liking this game this is a paid game on uh, um, google play store but if you want it free you can find some alternates on google uh, google.com and you will be able to get it by free but i will not tell you how you will be able to get it it is up to you how you manage yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So like this, it is this game is working. Okay, so let's just skip to the game. I have uh, shown you everything. I have given you the overview of this uh, device, how it looks like, how what are the uh, box contents inside and. Uh, uh, outside what are the inside the inside the back cover what is available connectivity options uh, some of the gesture features new and this led notification light as well i will show you how this led notification light uh, looks like so once it is charging it shows you like this i have connected to this uh, otg uh, sorry uh, to the micro uh, my laptop usb charging so it was saying that it is saying that two and a half hours but we will put it to wall charge and we will see how it will look like so this is the LED notification line which is a plus point and also the OTG support is also a plus point of this one and this is a multitasking window you can see and if you want to close every all of them you need to go one by one like this you need to close or you can just uh, drop down and you just click like kill all applications it will also kill this application but still you need to some do it manually then again you go here and just tap it tap it here for uh, having this and this is your default notification this is your default notification and then again you put down then you will have this toggle so you can use this toggles and i will also check if you can rearrange the toggles and edit according to your need so for now this is the english review for my side because i am the first one as of now who has done this video in english on youtube and hindi on youtube because i am little bit blessed who got this phone first because this time lenovo did not send any review units to any of the top bloggers so this is why i am feeling lucky and i got this phone yesterday the second thing so if you like anything in this video if you don't like just put your comments in the youtube section uh, youtube comment section i will try to respond it and if you like this video please share it to your friends and family circle and explore as much as in your circle that will help me and myself in my channel in reproducing more and more videos for you and if you want to see some, some specific videos for this phone just do post your comments i will do it and i will show you i will be also doing a detailed review after three four days or let's say five six days and so if you have some questions, I do, do post me in comment section. I will add the, your questions and the review answer in my detailed review because this is what I am doing. I am asking feedback from my viewers and if they have any question, I will try to include in my detailed review. So this is Pramal signing off from Shamaji Technical. If you have any concern, just drop me in a, a comment. I will try to help you. But please like this video, share this video. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe because I am quite often now started doing in reviews in English as well. But my main focus is in Hindi language. So stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. We will meet in our next video. Thank you very much.